Welcome back to BG24. Um, and like I said, we're still with our um, we're still with our host from the Center for Center for Leadership. Um, so what we're going to talk about now is just basically how you all got involved. How did you all make it to the Center of Leadership? Well, um, again, my name is Portia Ness, and I kind of started off as you know a quiet first year student, kind of shy, didn't really want to get involved. But um, I found my passion through my major, environmental policy, and I got involved through organizations. And from there, I kind of thought like okay, the world is much more than just the environment. I should be more inclusive, be mm -hmm. more well-rounded with my leadership skills. So I discovered the Center for Leadership and I became an SLA and I learned so much about how to communicate with others, how to be an inclusive leader, how to lead from the middle. And that just kind of opened doors for me, not only with environmental issues, but social change as a whole. And what about you, Sarah? Yeah, so very similar to Portia, actually. I was really shy when I first came here. I wasn't very involved in high school. Um, if I was, I was never the president of anything or the mm -hmm. person that was really leading it. So when I came here, I realized that that could be a lot different. Um, so I became part of the campus tour guide program, and that really helped throw me out of my shell and get me talking and really help me with public speaking. And then from there, I joined Fraternity and Sorority Life at BGSU. Um, now I'm actually the president of one of the 12 Panhellenic chapters on campus. Okay. So I'm doing that. And then just from my mentors, they were kind of the ones that pushed me towards the Center for Leadership um, and all of those resources. So once I heard more about the Student Leadership Assistant Program, I really wanted to help other student leaders develop their skills and give them the confidence. One of the things we really focus at, um, on in the Center for Leadership is self-congruence. Mm -hmm. So really looking at your own individual skills and how you can help your own skill sets to help other people. So that was really why I got involved and kind of how I started with that. All right. And what about you, Lindsay? Well, I'm like Sarah and Portia. I've always been like really antsy and like mm -hmm. excited. That's okay. <laughs> um, but I am also a part of the President's Leadership Academy, okay. which is also housed in the Center for Leadership. Um, so through those networks and those connections and meeting different people, I found out about the Student Leadership Assistant um, Program um, and job position, which then it was only, it was the first year that mm -hmm. it was going on. So I applied when it was the second year. Um, and so it was just, an opportunity that I saw and, I, and through like PLA and the, working with the different individuals in the Center for Leadership, they, re they really helped me understand my own passion, like Sarah mentioned, um, and opened up my eyes that serving first and then leading is so much more fulfilling than to go for a position. And it's not to say that, you know, um, going for a position in leadership is bad. It's not that at all. It's just finding what works for you. And so through my different involvement within the Center for Leadership, I ran across the student leadership position. I said, this is it. So I just <laughs> went with it. Well, I'm glad that you all three got involved. That is cool. So we have so many different leaders around the world. So Sarah, yeah, who would you think, who would you say is a good leader? Just rant, like uh, anybody random, like, you know, a lot of, a lot of people are like Oprah, I'm tired of hearing about Oprah. Who do you think is a good leader? Does it have to be like a celebrity? No, it doesn't. It doesn't have to be a celeb celebrity. I would say that my own mentor, so in Fraternity and Story Life, we have hall directors that come mm -hmm. in and they're graduate students in the CSP um, College Student Personnel Program. So I would say that the person that I really try to mimic her leadership and really mm -hmm. look up to her would be Healy Seely. Okay. She graduated last year with her graduate program and she's now working in um, University of Cincinnati program. But I would say that her and just the way that she leads, and she leads with thinking of others first. Um, you can be having the worst day, and she can make you feel so empowered. Okay. So I would say that she would be the person I would think of first. All right. And Porsche, same thing for you? Well, for me, it's kind of cheesy, but it's actually my mom. Okay. She's my mentor. Um, you know, not only did she raise me, she kind of was like the role model in my life, how to dress, how to act like a woman. And that just really open my eyes to like, okay, I can do this. I can be a leader too, just like my mom. All right, thank you. And Lindsay? Well, at BG, I'll just name the whole Center for Leadership because <laughs> I really do admire everyone in there. And then if we're talking just period, Beyonce is number, she, oh, she's a great she is. leader. She, oh, you think she's top notch? Yes. All right, I hope yes. Beyonce, I hope you can hear this. <laughs> I hope you hear this. All right, so if um, could you all give us your contact information again, um, Facebook, Twitter, website, anything that you all have for those students at BGSU can reach out to you all? Okay, well, the Center for Leadership is located in the Union, 301. Um, you can also visit our website, www.bgsu.edu slash leadership. And then you can follow us on Twitter at BGSU Center for Leadership, and we also have a Facebook page that's also BGSU Center for Leadership. 
All right. Thank you again for being here, ladies. When we come back, Ejante Hall will be here with a representative from the BGSU Student Organization, UMS. Stay tuned.